Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Maz back again with another video for you guys today. Today we have the TRX4 back in the video. Appreciate y'all hanging in there uh, with these tent scale videos, but we have it back getting some body mounts made. Well, a body mount made first. So getting right into it, I had to take measurements for this body to get a rear body mount. Well, as you can see, getting in here to actually get mounts or get measurements right in here is tough. So you have to be very creative when you go to measuring that kind of stuff. Well, I took all my measurements and stuff for the body mount and I printed this first mount. And this is just a solid mount. You can see it looks like crap on the bottom. I printed it on a raft, but you know, it goes in the rails, fits perfect in the rails, fits perfect around the license plate cutout. It has a lip on it. You can see on both sides and it fits in there perfect. No side to side movement. And my height on the ledge was perfect. So I raised this body about nine millimeters on the side. I'll show you that here after a while. But I raised these sliders nine millimeters, which raised the body nine millimeters. I had to do it because I have to be able to get a magnet mount in the front as well. And I need a clearance for the battery in the front. So the only thing that I was off on, and we'll look at it this way. This is the front. This is where it would glue on back here. I was a millimeter and a half too short on the distance. So the body was too forward by a millimeter and a half. So this was used to fit it up originally, bolted it in, got it set in place, everything worked out. I had to go in and do some work in Fusion to get what I wanted it to be. So I'll show you this Fusion video and then I'll get back to you with this truck. All right guys, so I wanted to show y'all the items in fusion and what i want to show you is the mount you're seeing in this video and the changes that i'll make to it before the final uh glue up of the mount so in this video you're seeing this mount here this surface here is what's going to get glued to the license plate frame itself this is the ledge that's going to come up around it and on each side and on the top to make sure that it doesn't shear off the body also on this one i didn't put a stop on this part which i should have i was only relying on the ears and it was only going to rely on this surface right here to stop it which is not enough plus these ears are what i'm worried about and why i redrew the mount itself so I really wanted these ears to be on the part here that is going to be bolted onto the truck. So I made another mount and this is it here. You can see this is the surface that will get glued. It's also thicker here from front to back by about five millimeters. So it's very thick, very hefty. That's what she said. This is your ledge that's going to come around the whole license plate frame on the top and two sides don't need it on the bottom plus when you're doing stuff like this you got to think about how you're printing it so this will actually be the highlighted part will be on the bed of the 3d printer so had to think about stuff like that i don't like using a ton of supports so we redid this as you can see if we take that part away these ears are now on the part that bolts into the chassis these holes are the two chassis holes and so these ears now are much thicker side to side by two millimeters and we now have this surface this surface and this surface that will hit the this surface this surface and this surface once it gets at 90 degrees there's about 0.2 millimeters of clearance there so it should just go to 90 degrees maybe a touch past it I don't want a ton of weight sitting on it and even when I do hinge it up I'm not going to leave a ton of body weight sitting on that hinge but this is plenty beefy now and I actually if you look at this on the mount in the video this hole this hole and this hole the hinge hole right here is in a line 
I moved the hinge down in this one to clear the rails underneath the truck where the bumper is going to be when it folds back. So I moved that down just a couple millimeters and that's just to move the pivot point down and that way the bumper doesn't interfere with the bottom of the frame rails when it hinges back. So on this one here, if you look at it from the side, these holes are, the three holes are dead in a line. So we came down a couple millimeters there. You can see just from side by side, this is a much beefier mount altogether than that little frail guy there. But just wanted to show you all that, uh, kind of show you my thought process. You have to think about how you're printing stuff when you're doing stuff like this. You also have to think about, you know, like I said, if this was glued on and these ears break off, that's going to suck. You know, if this is bolted on and these ears break off, no big deal. We reprint another part and we bolt it on and screw the hinge back in. Like I said, I don't see this big chunk at the bottom. This here, this whole piece is not going to break off. So we'll get back into the video. I just wanted to show you all my thought process when I go through doing this kind of stuff. All right, guys. So as you saw in the video, we made some changes. Well, I have that hinge on the truck now. I wanted to do a hinge mount instead of mag mounts on the back because I just felt like it would be a better option. If I need to take the body completely off, it's four bolts, pull the whole thing out of the rails, set it to the side, no big deal. So as you can see, and I gave you a little shot at the beginning, we have the hinge installed in here. So if we take this body off, and let's set that over to the side. You don't want to set it down on this greasy surface anymore because we got paint on it. So as you can see, we have that bolted in with our two bolts on each side. We got a washer here for the hinge, another two and a half millimeter bolt on each side holding the hinge. And this one has the lip all the way around as well. And this is where I showed you that I didn't do a stop on this mount, but on the, on the final print, we'll have a nice beefy mount with a good stop here. So I also stated that I raised these sliders. So if you can see, there's a nut there, but there's two above it. Three millimeter nuts, I've mentioned it in a previous video, fit in these slots under this mount perfect. Well, that raised it up nine millimeters on the dot. Well, it used to hang down nine millimeters more. So we actually gained some ground clearance here on these sliders. You can see it's still probably three millimeters uh, down below these trays here. But I like this a lot better. Plus it gave us, we were like so close. We were laying on the fenders and the, these inner fenders with the body when they were push down. So I gave nine millimeters cause I still need to make a mount, have magnets and all that clearance. So when we set this on here now, we take the body and we set it back on and get it lined up with the notches I have in the sliders because of the seam in the body has a flange there. So there's notches in these sliders they sit in. Well, when I get this set down on there in those and then let me get it in there when they're in those parts and i grab that mount and pull up on it this is perfectly level if i push down on it out of that ledge it lifts there you can see the gap as i pull back up it just bottoms out as it hits the front the front and the back are touching both perfectly so we have that all correct. All right, I got it zoomed out and I wanna show you right here. Once this hinges back, the bumper right here got really close to the frame rails. It's probably a couple millimeters away, but I just went ahead and moved that pivot down just so that if it bounces back and it hits that bumper, that bumper is gonna be glued on. I don't want it to break off. So hinge is perfect. When you hinge it back down, it slides right back down on the sliders with just a little side to side, but with the magnets, it'll pop it right back down in place. So works out really well. Wheelbase is perfect. I did move the body back about a millimeter too far on purpose because I'm trying to gain as much clearance right here as I can. This is always the toughest part for, for tire clearance. 
So it is moved back just a touch. But wanted to show y'all how I go through the process of making this stuff and give you an idea. And I may end up putting these files up or if anybody needs them, hit me up. I have them. If you have a TRX4, these will be a direct fit to this body or to the Enjoyer body as well, I believe. The Enjoyer body is molded the same pretty much. Like I said, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me a joke down below. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.